It's me, Sam. And it's me, Jess. And to dad, to get, well. <laughs> hey guys! It's me, Sam. And it's me, Jess. And together, we're the, the Siska, Siska Bobs. So today, we're wearing matching shirts. Not coordinated, accidental. Yeah, very accidental. I actually chose it first, and uh, she went and copied me because she's like, it's gonna be so cute. I didn't copy you. Okay, so guys, today we're telling the story about how we thought we got robbed. This happened like a year or so ago during exam season. Mm -hmm. And I specifically vividly remember that because I was actually supposed to go to an exam literally like right before this happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I was freaking out because I was like, I'm going to be late for my exam. I think, I don't remember what subject, probably math or some shit. So basically, I, it was, what time was it? It was, it was, like, it was in the morning. I remember because I am, I always stay up so late and I s never can wake up. And then I specifically woke up really early for exam season because I'm like, I'm going to be early. I'm going to be a good student. <laughs> so she thought. <laughs> <laughs> so I was studying all my notes and I was reviewing everything. And then I went to go downstairs because obviously I have to go out the door to get out of my house. Mm -hmm. And when I was heading out the door, what happened was our alarm went off. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, we have like an alarm in front of our house and I'm sure like most people have it, right? Mm -hmm. And set two settings. There's like stay and away or just pure off. But stay is like if someone's in the house so there's no the, the motion detectors don't like go off it's only while. like door detectors yeah. yeah and then when it's away if there's any movement in the house it goes off basically my mom or our mom we mm -hmm. say mom or sisters duh sis come yeah. on our mom decided that she was gonna turn it on accidentally it wasn't on purpose i'm assuming and little backstory i'm hearing impaired so i don't hear like anything i'm like lying in bed listening to youtube with my door closed and you weren't even awake what do you no mean? i was i was lying in bed I was like, oh hey. i didn't even know that i'm taking my glasses i just realized so long story short i was lying in bed and this girl comes into my room she was like sam sam i'm like what because <laughs> i was like i can't hear anything and then she was like the alarm's off and i and i heard footsteps i was like what steps <laughs> and she's like i think there's robbers i was like I, I was actually freaking out. The thing is, it's like, I wasn't even like trying to freak her out. Like, I wanted her to save me. That's what was kind of funny. I was like, please save me, Robert. And I was like, I didn't even, I didn't even like know what was happening. Honestly. She was so loud. She was literally screaming. I was like, if there's any robbers in the house, they're going to hear you. Yeah, so basically, okay, this sounds kind of creepy. I don't know if you guys do this too, but we have like a knife. In every, like... In every room. In every room. In every bedroom. Just in case, like, someone comes in so we could stabby stabby. <laughs> yeah, I actually learned this from our mom. Because one time I was going through her drawer looking for her nail polish, like a sneaky little child. And then I saw the knife and I was like, Mom, why do you have this knife? And she was like, you know, in case robbers come, I want to protect you guys. <laughs> Ever since that day, I've been carrying a knife in my drawer. It's kind of creepy, though, so don't rob her house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's, like, running around my room and I'm just, like... Wait, there's robbers? Are you sure? And she's like, the alarm's off. And then I start freaking out because I'm like, holy shit. The alarm's like, really loud, by the way. Yeah, it's I, really I don't, don't want to die. So then she was like freaking out. I was like, don't worry. I'll protect <laughs> you. And I grabbed the closest weapons, which I actually brought here with me today. Because so you can visualize this. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mug on my nightstand. I was like, if someone comes, I'm going to smack them with this. Oh so I had this so mug, and then I busted out the knife, this fruit knife, okay? It's the smallest thing ever. Small even, if she stabbed someone with that, they'd probably be just like, they'd probably hurt you, like, more than the knife hurt them. That's so true. But I was like prepared. I was like, sis, I will help you in any cause. That was our first mistake, okay? And by the way, when the first thing that happened when we decided to hide, we didn't hide in like this room. We decided to hide in like my mom's room between like the bed and, and like, the, the window. Wall. Yeah, yeah, the between wall window. The, the, yeah, between the bed and the wall. And we're just like sitting there like hiding, crouching. And I had to do my exam. Right? So I was like, this better be over. The robber better leave the house. Like I was like... <laughs> Freaking out. It was so funny too because the first instinct she had, or I guess I said my hack because I was freaking out, was go to our parents' room. Even though our parents' room had nothing valuable, our first instinct was to go to our parents' room where the valuables could potentially be, which is so basically dumb. if the robber went anywhere, they would go into that room. Yeah, that was stupid on our part. We were like huddling there, we're not even quiet, and then we're like, this, <laughs> we're like this, and then this girl keeps. Sorry. This girl keeps going, I hear footsteps, they're getting louder, they're getting louder. I'm just like, I'm, just, I'm still holding my knife and mug, I'm like this, I'm like, no, I literally, okay, so, you know how, like, how
house's creak. I literally thought I heard footsteps. Like, I'm pretty over. sure they're, they were my heartbeats because she was scaring the hell out of me. And I was like, <gasps> <laughs> I was like, that was, that was me, honestly. Yeah, and then we called, and then I think we called our mom. And then we're like both freaking out. We're like, we think there's someone in the house. Just got her footsteps. What if we're gonna die? What if we're gonna be robbed? My and mom was he, like, are you sure? Did you check the door if it's unlocked? We're like, no, why would we do that? Yeah, why would we check the door if a robber's like, but then I remember, like, when I was sitting, I remembered, wait a second, when the alarm went off, I was only going down the stairs toward the door. That is the door they wouldn't come through. And I trusted her. She's like my set of ears. So, yeah, she, you can't, no. So, yeah, she can't, like, hear anything. So, she's using my, I like, here. I just can't hear the alarm. Okay. <laughs> when, with one of my doors closed and when I'm watching YouTube. She can't, like, hear footsteps. So, I was essentially, like, everything I told her, she was just like, oh, my I God, just so fed up. She was like, like a, a sponge. sponge. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh, my God. Yeah, so then we call my mom. She's like, Dad was the last one of the house. Maybe he turned it on away. So, then we're like, shit. But then we're still, like, still paranoid. So, mom's like, just go downstairs and check the doors. <laughs> so then we're walking down the stairs we're really slowly <laughs> and she's behind me and I'm literally like <laughs> I'm like, ghost is clear. <laughs> and then we check the doors. They were locked. <laughs> so I guess in hindsight, this basically means that when she was walking down the stairs, she set the alarm off and she's responsible for our <laughs> utmost panic. Yeah, basically, I just, like, walked down the stairs and the alarm went off because I was walking down the stairs. But here's the thing. Like, in my head, I was awake, like, an hour before then. I was just mm -hmm. walking around upstairs. I didn't know that our alarm only detects, like, the main floor. Yeah. I didn't know it didn't detect the upper floor. So I was, like, freaking out. Yeah, that was scary. I was scared. I mean, obviously, I had, like, the two most stupidest weapons. I mean, I could have picked a binder. But I'm not <laughs> that stupid. <laughs> Studying. <laughs> what? <laughs> but yes, I'm very glad we're safe. I'm very happy, but you scared the f out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was on time for my exam, by the way. Yeah, she That's was. That's all that matters in our safety. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the story of how we thought our house was getting robbed. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you died Hope of laughter at our expense. Hope you learned to not trust your sibling. Yeah, I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> Uh, in addition to all the other experiences, <laughs> oh, <laughs> which is a story for another day. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, it's me Jess and it's me Sam, and together we are Cisco Bob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey guys. guys. Oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Wait, how do I know if it's recording?